Hey guys, welcome back. Georgia with the Easton Training Center. This is CrossFit ETV. We're going to go over the variations for the kipping handstand push-up for CrossFit purposes today. So for the kipping handstand push-up, there's four parts. At any point in time, if that is the part that your athlete is working on, they're going to branch off, count that one for one. All right, so this is the kipping handstand push-up. This is what it looks like.
out in front instead of to the side or against the wall. It's because the first motion is going to be a straight kick up. Once we kick up, then we're going to kick back with extension, let the head come through. So it's going to be looking like this. Kick up for part one, negative for part two, egg for part three. And on the kick up, I'm going to kick straight up, back, lock out, come to my full stability, and come down one leg at a time. Alright guys, that's the kipping handstand push-ups. Those are the four portions of it. Have fun. On the hand position, guys, we're going to make sure that the hands are in line with the words, so slightly out and slightly turned in. That makes sure that when the head comes down, the head is more towards the wall than the hands are, so that we're in a bit of a triangle when we land in our support. We also have two options. We can start with the hands on the ground, making sure that the shoulders can still travel as we kick, or we can start, like I showed earlier, with a kick up, placing the hands. Just make sure that whatever you do, there's no buckle in the hand, and the shoulder comes forward of the wrist. Oh, oh hell yeah! This should be played at high volume.